Now, the question has been asked, how low can Windows 7 go? Well, I'm not going to stop at a 1 gigahertz, or even for that matter, an 800 megahertz processor. No, I'm going to go down to a really craptastic Pentium, I think it's a 450 with 512 megs of RAM. Look at this piece of crap. We're going to go ahead and install Windows 7 on that and see just how bad Windows 7 runs. So to prove not making it up, we're going to go ahead and turn the machine on. Let's go ahead and turn the screen on. There we go. And we're going to go into the BIOS here. Okay, so here is the proof that we're running a Pentium 2, 400 megahertz with 512 megs of RAM, a 40 gig hard drive, and some graphics card that makes up a lot of racket. Let's go ahead and exit out, and we're going to go ahead and tell it to boot off the uh, CD. Now I'm going to start a stopwatch over here on my computer over here, and during each part of the process, we're going to go ahead and reference it. So here's loading the setup files, and I'll pan back once it gets into Windows, and we'll, or once we get into the setup, and I'll, uh, red, I'll um, reference the stopwatch. Okay. Okay. Just started the copying files process, and oops. Okay. Extracting or expanding Windows files. And if you look over here, our current time is five minutes and forty seconds. So we'll check back when it's done. Okay. Well, we're currently fifty percent done expanding Windows files and we're currently 19 minutes and 20 seconds into it so I don't think we're gonna win these speed records check back in a moment okay we kinda made the uh, camera stationary here so it's now 62 percent done and let's kinda go over here really quick 62 percent done and about 21 and a half minutes into it Okay, just finished expanding the Windows files, and we're currently at 33 minutes. Right now it's installing updates, and I'll let you know, oops, I'll let you know when it completes the uh, installation, oops, there it goes, it's just about done. Okay, it finally made it to the point now where we're completing the installation, also known as installing hardware drivers. And if you look over here, currently at 37 minutes and about 30 seconds. So I'll let you know what it completes. Okay, just finished installing all the hardware. Let's look over how good we're doing around the uh, time. It's currently 44 minutes. This should be about the first boot.
Okay, we're finally into the desktop for the first time. And it took 50 minutes and 55 seconds. So let's go ahead and check the performance of the machine here. Start control panel. Well, it's got fade effects going on. That's kind of a good sign. Oops, I think I bogged it down. <laughs> okay, I want to see if it found my video card here. Okay, receive rating. Jeez. Okay, let's do properties. Device manager. Okay, any time now. There we go. You know, I should use this as my main workstation. That'd be pretty productive. Standard VGA, I didn't find my graphics card. Let me go ahead and get that installed and we'll check it again, okay? Well, I took out the old graphics card, put in a new one. It's an ATI Radeon 9800 Pro AGP, and yeah, kind of a um, little bit of a screen tearing going on here, but at least we got a decent resolution here. So here's the uh, control panel. Man, that's pretty purple. Large icons, Internet Explorer. Basically, that just said this thing slows crap. It's taking a long time to load. What do you want to do? There we go. That's really about it. You got paint. 